All right, so Allison Morris had a bit of a audio mishap uh, while reporting Kobe Bryant's death. Uh, obviously, she's saying she did not say the N word. Uh, I can't play the audio, obviously. But I have heard the slowed down version, the low quality version, the high quality version. Uh, listen to multiple different people. Uh, slow it down and hear, tell me what they believe they've heard. And I want your opinion as well. And this is my opinion. This is what I believe that I heard. Even in the slowed down version, it does sound like it, like she says the word. It does. Now, she is obviously apologizing. MSNBC's more Allison Morris was covering the breaking news of Brian's tragic death after the helicopter crash that killed him and his daughter and seven other people. She described him, uh, Bryant, as being perfectly cast for the L.A. Lakers, the team that he played for his entire career, but managed to misspeak and apparently to say the N-word rather than Lakers. And I've looked at it, and I, I, I tried to think in my head of a scenario where I would see this on a teleprompter and mistake it for the other word. And I, I don't know. I mean, I, I just I don't really see it. Maybe she's one of those people that reads on the teleprompter or anything that's there and somebody was messing around. I mean, I don't know. We don't know what the issue is. She did put out, obviously, a tweet. She said, Earlier today, while reporting on the tragic news of Kobe Bryant's passing, I unfortunately stuttered on air, combining the names of the Knicks and the Lakers to say Nakers. Please know I did not and would never use a racist term. I apologize for the confusion this caused. And again, I'm thinking in my head, Nakers, but when you really, when you hear the slowed down version, it, I don't know, in my opinion, it doesn't sound like a K, it doesn't. Now, that said, does she deserve to be fired? No. In my opinion, no, I don't. Now, before I get deep into my opinion, obviously, cancel culture has gotten involved, and there is a petition going around to obviously get her fired, because, you know, current year right? I mean, just current year. But in my personal opinion, people make mistakes. Even if someone has a bad point of view on life and it's not a mistake, it's something that's them expressing their point of view. You handle it in a manner that is calm and reasoned and rationed and say, hey, you know, that is not how we handle it. That's not what we say. That's not uh, what uh, is representative of this corporation or this business that you you represent and just let her know hey you know you win her hearts and minds you don't go after her with a pitchfork because then you just make people put up walls you know what i mean i hope that makes sense to you but uh, i just wanted to get my opinion out there this is not going to be a very long video but i do want your opinion on it have you heard it did you hear the slowed down version of it and in your opinion, what did you hear her say? Because in, in my opinion, it sounded, like it, it sounded like she said that. Now, obviously, it's expected that she's going to apologize. She's not going to come out and say that she did it, even if she did. But no matter which way that she did or she didn't say, it doesn't matter. We don't attack her with a pitchfork. We sit down, we have a discussion, we have reasoned debate, and we say, hey, you know, that is an offensive thing. That's, that's not how we handle conversation. We don't grab our pitchforks and our neighbors and go, you know, ruin someone's life over it. That We're better than that. But your opinion, should she get fired? All right. That's what I got on this one. Just real quick, I will see you guys on the next one.